geographic location functionality is significantly streamlined and enhanced in AutoCAD 2015. You can set the geographic location from a map using the Set Location tool on the Insert ribbon tab. You must be signed into your Autodesk 360 account to access online map data. If you're not signed into Autodesk 360 or you choose not to use online map data, you can still use the geographic location tool to enter latitude and longitude for the location. A new Use Maps button is added at the center of the display in case you change your mind. When using online map data, the geographic location tool has been streamlined to help guide you through the process of specifying a geographic location. The first page of the geographic location tool enables you to specify a location and place a marker. You can specify a location by entering an address or zooming in the map tile. Right click to drop the marker in the map or click on drop marker here from the locations listed. You can move the marker as often as needed with no impact on performance. When you're satisfied with the location, the next button leads you to the second page where you specify the coordinate system. Based on the marker location, AutoCAD 2015 lists only relevant coordinate systems. You can use the search field to further filter the relevant coordinate systems, selecting the most appropriate one. After picking the corresponding geographic location within the drawing, Updated prompts for specifying the north direction are easier to understand and more flexible. The same updated prompts make it easier to reorient the marker after it's been placed. When displaying an aerial map, the image resolution increases or decreases as you zoom in or out, assuming higher resolution data is available. One of the most exciting enhancements to geographic location functionality is the ability to capture and plot map data. New tools on the Geolocation ribbon tab enable you to capture an area or viewport for plotting purposes and to preserve the current map data. The map that you capture is embedded into the drawing so that when you turn off online map data or have no internet access, you can still view and plot the specified map area. If you change the online map display, for example from aerial to road, the embedded map image remains static. You can select the embedded map image and use grips to move, resize, and even rotate the image boundary. When you change the image boundary, AutoCAD automatically requeries the online map data and updates the image accordingly. A contextual map image ribbon tab displays additional relevant tools when a map image is selected. Use these tools to choose from aerial, road, or hybrid representations of the map. The Map Image Resolution tool enables you to update the map image object by retrieving a higher or lower resolution image from the map service provider. It's important to keep in mind that the highest resolution satellite images aren't necessarily the most recent. Slider bars on the Map Image ribbon tab enable you to adjust the brightness, contrast, and fading of the map image so that you can more easily see relevant AutoCAD geometry. To avoid inadvertently changing the map data, the map image does not automatically update from the map service provider when you open the drawing. The map image is only updated when you move, scale, or edit the boundary of the map image, or when you use the Reload Image tool. With the ability to capture maps, you can now include this valuable map data when printing.